Good morning, everyone. How are you? This is Friday morning. And uh, first of all, I appreciate all these comments from Facebook. Hello, Facebook fans. I'm glad you guys are tearing it up. Um, there was a... This was about Michelle Woods and uh, asking about uh, contact and appointment ASAP about my brother Michael Woods. We've tried. We've been in contact with them and everything else, and we just now haven't got their paperwork back. And that's the problem. We need their paperwork back. And we need to do this now. If, you're, if your brother is in serious trouble here, you've got to get a hold of us and get this thing going. Uh, uh, we're here, and uh, I'm uh, Jennifer uh, B., uh, she told me she's been in contact with the mom or whatever or whoever and uh, they just haven't uh, got all the paperwork we gave him back. And we need that paperwork just to, so we can get going with him. So please, if there is someone out there that uh, knows this individual, uh, all means get the paperwork into us and we'll take care of that. And there was another request here from Facebook to do shorter videos on specific things. And you know what, I've been thinking about that myself. So I'm going to do that today. I'm going to do a video on high blood pressure because that's what was asked here. And so let's do a, uh, a blood pressure. Hi in Brazil. Hi everyone. Uh, let, my, uh, let my heart shine on all of you guys. There you go. This heart's for all of you guys. You guys are all doing well. You know, it's such a, a fun journey, and you want to make it fun journey. Even if you're suffering and it's, it's hell to work yourself out of it, make it fun. It'll change. Change your attitude sometimes about things. It'll release, let go. These are the times to do that in, is to release and let go of things. Uh, pretty, getting pretty gnarly out there in some places. FDA's picked up their... Um, their fight to uh, monopolize with the medical profession, the healthcare industry. So this is obviously, we're gonna have a major law, I've told you this before, we're working on a major class action lawsuit against the FDA. Anybody out there hurt on any chemical medications, please let us know, family members killed. We're going to go after the FDA at a level they've never seen before. Because this butchering and killing of the human species uh, unbelievable. Uh, if you call caught CBS this morning, they did a little uh, special on drugs, antibiotics in particular, showing that in UTIs and sinus problems, if you don't do the antibiotics, you, you're going to go away anyway. Uh, and that uh, it is better not to use chemical medications because of the toxic side effects that's hurting so many people. That's CBS. If I remember right, they also did a show on cancer and they took prostate cancer showing if you did nothing, you'll live a lot longer. So the point obviously here is that medical intervention shortens people's lifespan, sets them up for cancer and everything else by suppressing their lymphatic systems. So I want to rethink a lot of things that man's doing right now. And so it's all going to the whip of the dragon's tail, guys. That's kind of a payback for, for a lot of people out there. All right, let's talk about high blood pressure a minute because that is an important issue. Well, let's lap that with low blood pressure. When we take someone's blood pressure, actually, what are we looking at? Are we just looking at the blood pressure? Absolutely not. And you notice in a blood pressure, you have two numbers. You have the systolic on top and the diastolic on the bottom. If you remember and you go into your body, you're going to find two kidneys. The skin, of course, is the third kidney. But you've got two kidneys. And on top of those kidneys are the adrenal glands. Now, the adrenal glands, as you guys know, are everything to us. And especially to the astral or emotional bodies. So when you see anxieties, you see shortness of breath, asthma, any chain of the COPDs, uh, that's a chronic obstructive pulmonary diseases, uh, not to use the word diseases, but when you see a lot of neurological problems to the lungs because uh, asthma on is neurological. So when you take a look at these, you look at heart arrhythmias, um, uh, uh, paralysis in a lot of ways, uh, you, you can see the autonomic nervous system involved. And we've talked about this before, that the parasympathetic part of the autonomic, the autonomic nervous system is the, what I call the second brain. 
to me, that brain is located in the solar plexus and the stomach area. So when you get hit there, you know, you notice you lose your breath. When you have stomach problems, you feel heart problems, breathing problems, because this is the core of the autonomic. The autonomic has two sides, parasympathetic, which reaches here in the cerebellum, and then the sympathetic, which reaches to the adrenal glands. Uh, the adrenal glands produces neural transmitters that turns on this nervous system. And it's geared to emotions, fight or flight, that's epinephrine, norepinephrine, those are your adrenalines. Then you have dopamines and acetylcholine, these are neurotransmitters. Neurotransmitters either turn things on or turn things off. With dopamine and acetylcholine, you're into elimination as adrenaline, as epinephrine and norepinephrine are for activity and muscles. They shut down certain activities so energy isn't lost that way. When you need energy to the muscles to fight to protect yourself or to whatever, all energy has to be focused and that's what these neurotransmitters do. So they shut down some and increase others. And that's where stress comes in, in stress factors, in having a lot of symptoms because stress shuts down the dopamine acetylcholine and increases the epinephrine and norepinephrine because you're stressed, your energy, your, and that sort of thing is why we lose elimination over time. And that's why you start to see a lot of symptoms under stress because, again, we're, we're increasing activity, but we're shutting down elimination. And... As you all are learning about the gigantic sewer system of the human body called the lymphatic system, when you shut down the kidneys, you're effectively shutting down that system. And it's okay at times because that's, you're not always going to be eliminating. And activity will help keep things moving. The whole thing comes into filtration of this sewer system through the kidneys. There has to be a movement. It is a fluid. Thing. No fluid can just sit there. Nothing can just sit and be static in creation. Because if you look at a lake that becomes stagnant, what happens? You can go uh, clean the top off of it and sell it as blue-green algae, palm scum. And a lot of people eat palm scum just uh, for the health of it. I suppose, uh, but palm scum, because we're in a, and people take palm scum and they're going, uh, or blue-green algae, and then they're bitching about fungus or candida problems. I have to laugh at all that because people are eating one, one family member of that thinking they're, you know, nutritional. Nutritional yeast. We used to sell that all the time. You know, brewer's yeast. Sell that all the time in the health food stores. I sold it in my health food stores years ago. But that, that, that neurotransmitter kick that kicks the heart to depolarize the uh, uh, ventricles and the atrials, to, to open up those valves, and that's that kick, that cardiac punch we call it, that is the systolic number the upper top number. That's the adrenal glands. So the textbook number on the systolic number should always be 120. Anything higher than let's say 130, something's kicking that up a little bit. Stress, uh, uh, lymph, uh, pressure, that sort of thing. Uh, when it's below 120, oh, I'm, feel I'm feeling tired today. I don't feel like doing anything today. Or I've got, oh, I'm so tired, I can't even raise my hand up. That's autonomic. That's the adrenal glands. And the lower the blood pressure, and the young folks coming in today are in the 80s and 90s. This is serious. This is chronic. This is problematic. And remember, we've been talking a lot about when you go under anesthetics with these low blood pressures, some people are not coming out. A lot of babies are dying under surgery. You notice that? And it's like, God, medical doctors, wake up. What's going on here genetically? Quit chasing ridiculous gene thinking and look at genetics in a different way because genetics is a fact, but quit chasing these genes. I mean, this is, this is what messed up Angelo uh, Jolie or whatever her name is. You know, you, you, you get to scaring people because, and you're way out of line with that. You, 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 you're having a good perspective with that. That's why we introduce you to the lady of the uh, stem cell research lady and what she had to say about all that. 
So it's enough to say that that top systolic blood pressure number is the adrenal glands. Well, what does the adrenal gland sit on top of? The diastolic. That's right. Your diastolic is directly related to your kidneys. So when your kidneys start to lose uh, their ability to filter, even themselves, you start to see simple things happen. You start to see the creatine levels in your blood go up meaning the kidneys are starting to break down with all the acid retention. People have UTIs from that. And then all these interstitial inflammatory issues, which is just simply acidosis, just the lymph not moving anywhere. Because if you stagnate the lymph system, you're sitting, you're taking acids and they're just sitting there. And the cells are, are, are all in that goop. They're in the interstitial flood. So those acids are just sitting there chewing on that wall. And then cells have to eliminate waste into this sewage. If this sewage surrounds the cell, it's so intense, then when it becomes intracellular acidosis, that's when you start seeing the mutation or the atypicalness of a cell coming into play. It's that simple. Outside of that, the only way you can damage a cell is trauma. So you have to look at this lymphatic system and the role the kidneys play. They're the major players in the role of the lymphatic system in the elimination and the filtration of acids out of the body. And right before you get to them, you're hooked to lymph nodes. So lymph nodes, remember, clean. The bacterium breaks down these three pH acids and brings them to six so you don't break the kidneys down. Essential that these lymph nodes be in place. One of the biggest crimes I feel of the century is the removal of lymph nodes by medical doctors because they fight maybe, maybe, maybe find a cancer cell in them, which that's where they should be because where's all the macrophages in the body? Where's most of them? In the lymph nodes. You don't put macrophages around the cells interstitially because as you weaken, you could have a, a little frenzy feeding. You've got them in the lymph nodes. So you have to understand how that all works. So when the kidneys start to back up, you start to see your diastolic creeping up. Anything above 70 to me is a creeping. 120 over 60, textbook blood pressure. I don't care who's there. And if you're a practitioner and you're, you're detoxing all your clients and you get them healthy, you'll find 120 over 60 consistently or thereabout. 120, 119 to 130, 60 to 70, you're in a good range. Doesn't mean you're filtering though. You got to remember that. Blood pressure is not indicative of filtration. However, when filtration backs up, after several years of this, the kidneys start to go themselves. And that is when you see all this, the creatine creeping up and uh, you start to see the, um, uh, uh, the inflammation of the kidneys and the blood pressure going up. So high blood pressure as well as low blood pressure, kidney and adrenals. Now, if you get too low of a diastolic, you're in the low 50s, you've got very weak kidneys. And this is where the weakness will come in to the cells. you got to build those kidneys up. And because man chose the high protein route, we have serious kidney problems. I mean, there isn't a child born today that doesn't have a kidney weakness worldwide. Bottom line, even islanders. It's just gotten that bad. Uh, the islanders, of course, are going to be the healthier kidneys. But, uh, you know, these high-protein diets, bye-bye bowels, bye-bye kidneys. And that's just what's going on. The genetics and kidneys and adrenals, you all are looking at this. And you guys that are really helping people are seeing this everywhere you look. Everywhere we introduce this to, practitioners are going, oh, my God, I'm seeing this everywhere. I remember Margie in Ireland. She said, my God, I'm seeing this everywhere. Naturopath in Ireland. So these are some of the things that you see there. Now I want to show you another high blood pressure because as the body gets acidic, it gets edemic, it holds fluids, and that can also raise the blood pressure. 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 However, there's another thing called swinging blood pressure, and medical doctors that are listening to this, please, you have to understand this one. When the lymph backs up, obviously it backs up systemically. And it particularly backs right up the back. Almost every one of you knows what it's like to have stiff shoulders, tight necks, things like that. That's the lymph system. 
That means you're not filtering well. You're under stress or you're not filtering. Both, both reasons. And so one can lead to the other even. So real important to understand that when that builds up in the cerebellum, that's the parasympathetic side into the central nervous system, you'll see swinging blood pressure. When you're stressed and tight, your blood pressure will go up. When you're relaxed at home, it goes down. You cannot treat this high blood pressure except for PRN when needed. Because if you don't, you dump your clients in hypotension. You're not paying attention to your clients. And you have to determine whether this is swinging blood pressure. And no way when you're in a medical doctor's office should you take the first blood pressure as evidence of high blood pressure. That's ridiculous. Most people don't like medical doctors. As nice as some of them are, uh, you guys hurt a lot of people. And there's a, there's a subconscious uh, uh, issue about that that is sickening. I want my clients to be happy to come see me because they know they're going to get well and that we love them and that we're going to take care of them. That's why it's important that the whole world change to understanding what it is detoxification has to offer the world. And it, it answers your questions of why we're, we're chasing rainbows called diseases. And, and we're, we're creating major financial difficulties the world over because of this whole ridiculous thing. There's another thing, these biopsies of tumors, women, if you feel a lump in your breast, detox. If you have a biopsy, they're putting these little metal clips in there now. And now we're having problems with the metal clips. I mean, if anybody puts a foreign object in your body, to me, that should be criminal. For the sake of what? You know, this concept in medical, for the sake of what? States, for the sake of the health of the citizen? And I'm sorry, that's, uh, that won't uh, ride on the wave anymore. There's, it's obvious that that's a fallacy and illusional. So when you get a swinging blood pressure, you can't treat that with high blood pressure medications. You can take a high blood pressure pill maybe when you're high. The best thing is to run hot and cold water or real ice water right back here, that's alkaline, and start cooling that down. Work on the neural lymphatic points down the spine and you'll start to bring that blood pressure down. And that's good. Go and fix the kidneys because it's still back to the kidneys and adrenals that that problem exists because that's what builds that lymph going up the back and everywhere else. So it's always going to come back to those kidneys and adrenal glands. So always in a high blood pressure. High blood pressure is the easiest thing on this planet. And I don't want to use the word cure because high blood pressure isn't a disease. And this, the fact that medical doctors or, or, the, or the FDA would lump these kind of things as diseases shows you the intent to monopolize health care. They want to go back and uh, uh, let us eliminate, like if I have an herbal formula for the liver, uh, they don't want us to put liver on it. Well, what do you want us to put on You want to go back and put number? You want to go back in the dark ages, FDA? Well, we're not going to let you do that. And this overreaching of the government into personal lives and the violation of constitutional rights, uh, this is going to be a big one. And I really am uh, excited to pull everybody together that's been harmed by the AMA and by the FDA indirectly because we need to go after them. We can no longer allow the slaughter of the human race uh, for the sake of idiocy and, uh, and, and egotism in the illusion of diseases. So understand that when the body is simple, you got two sides of chemistry and you have two major fluids that encompass or surround all cells. So the problems are either in the body with the fluids, with the two sides of chemistry, or with the cells. That's it. So you think all this out, review these videos, and I'm going to do these short videos on all these different things. And we'll try to get out of this ridiculous concept of diseases and understand what are you doing when you have high blood pressure. When you have high blood pressure, you get off all your proteins immediately. You go on fruits, berries, and melons, maybe a salad at the end of the day. And it doesn't take long and that blood pressure comes right down. Get some kidney formulas. Get some adrenal gland formulas. And get those restored. Check your urine. Remember, fill the boot or fill the cup. Remember that sediment. Fill the cup, get your kidneys filtering, and you will 
give yourself a lot longer life on the planet if indeed that's what you want. Thanks, Facebook people. I love you guys, too. Thank you very much. And you keep going there. And don't stray too much. Don't get bored. Be happy with the now. Don't stray and grab on all these things like David Wolf and all these other people. Harvey Diamond. You know, digestive enzymes and all this. Don't stray. It's work to bring someone back. But when you get them back, the level of vitality is unreal. You're just, you're just going to exude beauty and love and vitality. Those are good things. And sometimes you have to work for them, guys, and just keep working for them. When you in, go into the spiritual side of life, this throws another little monkey wrench in the, in the mix here. Because then we're dealing with energetics. We talked about that at level two and the importance uh, of that balance when you start to get to these higher levels of consciousness. How you have to deal with a human body that's out of, out of balance, out of chemical balance, and out of magnetic balance. And how important it is to bring that in balance, but to use balance. Oh, you should use balance. If you get too ratted out on the fruit, bring yourself back and slow up a little bit. No, no reason not to, unless someone's really chasing uh, serious, serious issues. I got so many uh, questions to answer here that I would like to do that, but I promise I'd make this one of those short videos on a subject matter called high blood pressure. As I go along here and get these questions answered, I'm going to do a lot more short videos on specific subject matters, and that way you guys can look them up easier. I, I'll, I'll talk to Chris and see about how we look up things. I know that was one of the questions here. Make it easier so we can find videos. So I'm kind of out of the mix on that. I just do them and give them to Chris. You know, it's like I'm not good at any of that sort of thing. But I love you guys, and you keep it up. And you have a beautiful day out there. And uh, work on your kidneys and adrenals always. Those are the magic doorways of this gigantic sewer system called the lymphatic system. That is the core of man's suffering. And if you fix that up, you're going to, you can't believe the level of how good you feel and how beautiful you start seeing life. So uh, be strong, you guys. This world is testing. This world is really swinging. And so we have to be the positive warriors out there, that being truth. If they don't like truth, too bad, because truth is going to stand tall right now. Negative forces are out of balance. God needs to bring itself into balance at this level, and it can only use you and me. So just keep that in mind. You're just as responsible for bringing this world into balance as I am and everyone else is. Keep that in mind. Don't lower yourself. You guys are beautiful souls. You're powerful beings. Appreciate that fact and work from that fact. Dump the ego. See you later. Bye-bye and thank you so much for watching these videos. I thank you.